Hi, it's Christian here. Welcome to another fly tying tutorial. Tonight, I'm gonna be tying this one. Let's see if we can get some focus focus on this one. There we go, maybe. A uh, pink spade shrimp. Uh, perfect for winter fishing. And a uh, lot of moving going on on this one as well. Oh, we are in the end of, end of winter, but I guess this one will still work. And if it uh, is too pink for you, you can just use other colors of spay if you have that. I am gonna combine this uh, pink uh, grizzly spay rooster with some uh, coho pink from a sim shield in a you know, one of these clamps to mix them up for the tail and. Uh, yeah, at least for the tail. The, tail. the thread is a Weavis Power Fit uh, in white, and we're gonna need some some uh, easy rebuys, extra small black, some red Zephyr resin, and a oh, light stinger size six from Arix, and just a few, few straws of this uh, super hair. As, yeah, as antennas. That's all you need for this little. Little fly, so let's tie it. Here we go. This is the one we're tying. A pink sway swim. Really nice. And the hook I put in my vise was the was a light stinger, size six. And some beavis power thread here in the in my bobbin. And I'm starting by uh, Taking some of my coho pink, this one, some uh, semi-shield dubbing, and uh, combining that, combining that in a clamp here. I've shown that in previous videos how to do that with some of this stuff. The this is a grizzly, grizzly pink rooster spay, whiting, something, and uh, mix that in the clamp, and it comes up like this. Yeah, she's a bit. So that's how it looks. And I chose a quite small feather, but not too long, too long fibers because I didn't want the yeah the fibers to be too long. And I'm start, I'm gonna start by making a dubbing loop here in the back, like this. And I'm gonna use this one, the, the smell. Dubbing twister. This is the red one. This is more heavier than the blue one. Really nice and gets that uh, loop uh, all firmly together when you put in your materials. So that's awesome. Then I'm gonna put some wax on my on my loop here and put my mix in the loop. Semi sealed up and, and pink spay and just spin and it spins like crazy. This one now we're just gonna grab a needle and just get all these fibers out and all the way into the thread. And the, and the power of it is just good for this stuff because it's, yeah, you can take a beating. Of my of my dubbing just to cover this uh, little bump. Then 
Then I am going to take some of these boys, the easy three bodies. Small ones. And place on top. stuff trying to line the fibers by pulling and laying on top and when you got a little bunch going then I'm gonna place that bunch up here on top to finish off the end of the, the antennas or whatever. I'll just tie in the wrist to help table the, the flyer bits. Like that. So this is fast. To act, you could do exactly the same if you had a gray spade and cape. You just mix up some uh, Gray seems here with some gray spade, that would be nice as well. Then I am uh, of cheetahs again. I found another uh, spade feather this time, even long, uh, even shorter than the first one. I'm gonna tie in as a body heckle, palmer heckle stuff kind of thing. Grabbing that, tying this one, this one in. Pointing towards me with the shiny side of the feather. If there is, is such a thing. end somewhere in here between all these fibers and just go back in there in the feathers so I just get the gentle brush here to be honest it wouldn't hurt thing pointing backwards. There you have 
Epic. Translucent little spay. Pink spay shrimp. Super easy to tie. Will work well in the cold water. And it uh, should be a killer for sea trout. Try this one, uh, subscribe for more content, and I will see you next time. Bye bye.